Hi kids, this is Mr. Caleb from the Boys and Girls Club of Greater Green Bay. Today I'm going to be taking you through an active warm-up to get your blood flowing. So the only thing you got to do is make sure you have enough space and follow along with me. Alright, so the first activity that we're going to be doing is arm circles. So you want to stretch your arms out wide, start small, we'll go forward first. Just keep going small, and then as we go we'll get bigger and bigger until as big as we can go. And then we'll finish with some big slow ones. Alright, now we'll do the same thing, but we'll go backwards. Start small, keep them small, and then start making your way bigger and bigger until you can't get any bigger. And then go nice and slow. Now that we got our arms moving, the next thing we're going to do is shoulder stress. What you're going to want to do is reach across your arm, kind of hook into your elbow and then pull it across. What you want to do is make sure that you're still facing forward with your shoulders. You don't want to turn, otherwise it's not going to stretch as good. Make sure you're facing straight. So we'll do about 15 seconds on each side, and then we'll be good. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is side bends. You're going to want to spread your legs out a little bit, just outside your shoulders. And then we'll put our right hand up, and then we'll stretch to the side. Hold that for a few seconds, and then we'll switch arms and bend to the other side. So we'll do that a few times. All right, now we're gonna hammer out 15 jumping jacks. We're going to go straight into the backward lunge. The key to this one is to keep your chest nice and tall. You want to reach back with that foot. Keep your chest tall. We'll switch legs. Next up is side lunge. We'll do five each leg. The key to this one is similar to the backwards lunge. We want to keep our chest nice and tall. We also want to make sure our weight stays on that outside heel when we go to the side. We don't want to roll over onto our foot, otherwise that's going to hurt our knees. Moving along down the body, the next thing we have up is calf raises. What you're going to want to do is step up onto your toes. You can do it nice and slow and controlled. You don't want to act like you're on a pogo stick hopping up and down. You're going to be in control of your movement. So we're going to do 10 total of these. So let's do a couple more. Now that our legs are nice and loose, the next thing that we're going to do is mountain climbers. So you're going to want to get in a push-up position. And then you just drive your knees up. Try to keep your back as flat as possible during this. And we'll do this for 20 seconds. Now we're going to finish off with a couple stretches on the ground. This one's called the frog stretch. We're going to bring our feet together. We're going to grab onto our ankles. And we're going to push down our knees with our elbows. Try to make sure that your chest is nice and tall during this. And then if you can, push down a little further on your knees. We'll hold this for a few more seconds. Okay, our last activity of the day is going to be the side twist. So what you're going to do is put one leg straight out on the ground, cross over with your other leg, and then reach across. You want to drive your elbow into that tall knee, and then twist. So we'll do that for about 15 seconds of side, and then we'll switch. Again, one leg straight, one leg crossed over, and then drive that elbow into the knee and then twist. This one is really good for stretching out the core. 
Something that we're going to be doing weekly is our fitness challenge. This week's fitness challenge is whoever can hold the longest plank. So first I'm going to show you how the proper form of a plank is and then I'll explain a little more how you can submit your videos. So what you're going to want to do is get down under your elbows and your toes and then you want your back as straight as possible. You're going to want to hold this parallel and just hold that as long as you can. Alright, so now that you know the proper form, I'm going to be judging on who can hold that proper form the longest. You can send your videos into my email, which I'll have at the end of the video, and this week's winner will get a shout out on next week's video. Alright, I hope you all had fun with this week's workout video. I look forward to seeing you guys when the club opened back up. I know that things are crazy right now being stuck in the house, um, but this is something that's really simple to do to stay active. In the meantime, uh, make sure you start working on those plank videos. I look forward to judging those. And then if you have any other recommendations or things you want to see done, just send those in via the email too. My email will be listed right after this video.